Hi, I'm Alan Shepard. Today we're at the Windy Dome to learn how Western researchers are helping to build stronger, safer, and more sustainable communities. Thank you for joining me today to talk about your research and about uh, Windy Dome and what's going on out here and what makes this place unique. At Windy, we primarily simulate different kind of wind system, whether it's a tornado, hurricane, and downburst, and we study their interaction with uh, civil infrastructure, the built environment. The different knowledge that we gather teach us how we design buildings in a more sustainable manner. So all of you have focused your research careers on extreme weather, whether it's tsunami or hurricanes, tornadoes. Let's talk about some of the research. Greg, tell us a bit about the uh, Severe Storms Lab. Severe storms, the uh, losses from them around the world are growing. Our work is really trying to identify all of the impacts of severe storms on the built environment. I'm interested in tornadoes and other wind storms and how they act on buildings. Our strategy is trying to get as much data as we can about the storms and what's actually happening and trying to take our observations from the field and try to get better building codes, better building practice and make our community stronger and more resilient. This is a magical place where we can spin all kinds of complex wind system that enables us to solve multi-scale, multi-physics problem. The real intense part of it, We never knew how to do tornado type wind load evaluation. Now, thanks to Windy, is enabling us to do that. Were you like storm chasers when you were 12? Or <laughs> what brought you to kind of a preoccupation with these kinds of extreme weather events? How did you get started? In Japan, like we live with those natural disaster and an earthquake and tsunamis. Of course, we have hurricane, typhoon, etc. It's really, really powerful and devastating. I realized that I can do something. I do tsunami research and an earthquake research. I just simulate ground motion, tsunami height, and then quantify the risks. Bring the, the research results uh, to the coastal communities so that the, the community becomes uh, safer. It's really exciting. It's exciting. And Sigarita, the solar panel research, you're looking at vibrations from wind? Yeah, so I'm looking at a specific type of solar panels called solar trackers. Typically like big solar farms, and they basically track the sun from east to west. Their structural property makes them susceptible to wind. They are prone to like a vibration. We can rotate them and we change the tilt angle so it can become flat, which is... We're like trying to use both experimental and computational methods to just understand uh, their interaction with the wind. And how to make them stronger, safer. Yes, that's very important for sustainability, which is uh, the future. Now let's go to the real fun. <laughs> always pushing the boundaries. The way Western Mary's research with real world impact, it is very special. We are going to start the downburst. You see, it is in our we learn turbulence from our facilities. We combine the multi-physics model with them. Now we are addressing many sustainability-related issues. You know, mm -hmm. buildings contribute up to 30-35% of the greenhouse emission. Right. The information we generate here, okay. we can design structures that doesn't consume energy, you know? Yeah. If we're going to adapt to climate change, we need to have good information. Cigarita's work on solar panels is important. We need to be able to model the risk that CATSU does in order to optimize the, the, the engineering part of the solution. We are driving innovation forward. We are taking this work from the lab into our community to make them more resilient and stronger. There's a lot to be done. There's a lot to be studied. And we will continue to make structures stronger and communities safer.